Okay, um, so if you haven't had a chance to do so already, click on the link that I put in the chat and there should be a simulation. Uh, it's basically a game that I downloaded um, that basically simulates um, objects in the solar system and things like that. Um, can you let me know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, which is just like this um, virtual solar system here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be zooming in on the Earth here. Okay. Cool. So, Kavya said yes. Um, so basically, this is a video game that is called Universe Sandbox, which basically allows you to simulate different objects in 3D. So here I have uh, the Earth, and then here's like the sun in the middle of the solar system. And the, the simulation does a pretty good job of, you know, stimulating light. So you can see that the, the side of the Earth that's illuminated is the side that's facing the sun. Um, right now, um, by default, the simulation only has the Earth in it. But down below, using the, the toolbox or the, the options menu here, I can add objects. So what I'm going to do is add the moon. Um, I'm going to make it so that it's closer to the Earth than it really is in real life, just so that you can see it better. But I'll plop down a moon here, and um, by speed up time, if I do that every second, every, every second a day passes, oh, that's what I'm doing. So if I speed up time, you should be able to see that we can simulate what happens as the moon orbits the Earth. And um, if you notice, the same side of the Earth, sorry, the same side of the moon is always going to be illuminated. So if I pause here, uh, the same side of the moon is going to be illuminated by the sun. But if I just look at the moon from the top down view like this, the side of the moon is always going to be illuminated by the Earth, I mean, by the sun. So the amount of light hitting the moon never changes. It's always going to be 50% when viewed from like above like this. But from our perspective here on Earth, like if I zoom in and then just try to look at the Earth or look at the moon, you can see that as the moon changes position, the amount of light that we can see from that perspective, from our perspective. So when the moon is on the exact opposite side of the Earth, so if the moon is on the exact opposite side of the Earth as the sun, from our perspective, we can see the entire 50% of the moon that's being illuminated. And since we can't see the backside of the moon, this is what we call a full moon, where it's you see one hundred percent of the fifty percent of the moon. Does that make sense? Um, the link is oh, okay. So, shriek. Um, shriek is the link. So yeah, it's basically just a, a live stream of the video game that I have. Basically just a, a live stream. Okay. <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, try to mute one of my, like either mute the video or mute the Google Meet because you might have like an overlap of sound and you'll be hearing me speak like with an echo. But uh, should treat the network. Okay, cool. All right. And then if I were to move the moon so that it is on the I'm just gonna physically move the moon now. Um, if I move if I move the moon to the opposite side of the earth, like that if you look at it here. If I click on the moon and actually view it, 
you can see that the moon is still illuminated 50%, like that doesn't change. But because that 50% that's illuminated is on the other side facing away from us, we don't see any of it. So we see 0% of that illuminated 50%, and this is what we consider a new moon. And you'll notice if you're standing on the Earth at nighttime, you see like here's the United States, the moon is not going to be visible because it's on the other side of the Earth. So if you were thinking like, if you were telling me like back a month ago that you couldn't see the moon at night, that's because we're in what's called the new moon phase and the new moon is on the opposite side of the Earth as the uh, dark side of the Earth. The only time you can see a new moon, like faintly, is if you're um, on the side of the Earth that's in the daytime. Okay, and if I were to say move the Earth again, I can move them into like the different phases. So like here would be, so I'm gonna just shout this out. What phase would this be? If I were to move the Moon. Um, waxing crescent? Yeah, so that's the wax and crescent. Because the moon moves counterclockwise as the moon goes around the Earth, you should see the lit portion start to and start to go over from right to left. So you can see on the moon here, we've got a crescent from the right side. Has anybody seen the, the Karate Kid movie? Uh, uh, yep, but I don't remember it either. So... There's the scene in Karate Kid with Mr. Miyagi, like the, the Japanese mentor, Karate Master, and he makes the, the main character like do chores and he tells him like, wax on, wax off. Anybody familiar with that scene? Yep. So the whole wax on kind of thing, um, if you're having trouble remembering the phases of the moon, if you move the moon in chronological order, um, wax on refers to using your right hand and then waxing light onto the moon. So if you have a waxing crescent, the crescent starts on the right side. So you've got a waxing crescent, and then as the moon continues to orbit, you wax on and you shine, you put more white wax on the moon. And then now we've got first quarter where it's half illuminated and then half dark. And then this is waxing gibbous here where we've got most of the moon being waxed in light and then a small dark crescent. Then we've got full moon. Then we've got full moon as we go here. And then waning is when you start seeing the, sh uh, the dark portion of the moon starting to creep over on the right side. If I move the Earth here, you can kind of see how it's no longer a full uh, dark shape. You can see that there is a crescent of darkness, but it's actually called the gibbous. So we've got a waning gibbous where there's a dark spot starting to move right below. And then as we go around in orbit, now we've got half of the moon on the left side lit, and then half of the moon on the right side is dark. Which quarter is this? Anyone? Um, third quarter? Yeah, third or last quarter. And then the final phase of the moon is over here. It's a crescent because it's a, a little sliver of light, but because it's towards the end of the cycle, it's a waning crescent. So the crescent is, it's not being waxed on, it's disappearing. And then that waning crescent shrinks enough all the way until we get back to the new moon where it's in line with the, with the sun. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions on this? Because if I uh, turn the simulation off and do some neat things, um, like for example, I should be able to reset the velocity of the moon to say zero. And then I think if I 
gonna do this correctly. If I if I stop orbits completely, I should be able to mess around. This has nothing to do with uh, the phases of the moon anymore. I'm kind of just messing around. So since it's close to two o'clock, if you if you want to leave, that's fine. But um, if you're interested, the simulation call, which is the game that I'm doing, is actually pretty accurate. If I were to let things go, here's what might happen if the moon were to just stop um, stop orbiting around the Earth. It would crash into the Earth. Or if I wanted to, I could uh, I could huck another Earth. Take another planet. Take Mars. If I wanted to, I could even launch Mars and send it crashing into crashing into the Earth. Anyway, um, all right. So that's basically all I've got for right now. Um, if you don't have any other questions, you're you're free to leave, or if you just want to watch me turn around and mess with stuff, or if you want me to like throw like a sun into the sun and see what happens, or if I were to put a black hole in the middle of our solar system, what might happen? Um, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, just um, yeah. Have fun. Thanks for showing up. Um, Mr. Singh. Yeah. Before I leave, two questions. Just to clarify, so it could be either two or three paragraphs, right? The um, the uh, yeah. magnetism thing, the magnetic field, C R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, second question is: Have you heard of the game Exploding Kitten? I've heard of it. Is it that card game? Yeah. 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 Why have you played it? Hi, uh, yeah, I just got like everything with expansion packs, everything I love the game, so yeah, and like you like cats, so I was guessing that you might like the game. It's funny. Um, yeah, I know. There were people last class who wanted to know what uh, what my uh, cat looked like. Let me see if I can bring it. Here's my cat. I don't know if uh, any of you have seen him yet, but this is what it's, this is uh, this is what he looks like. He looks like the cat in the photo. Yeah, um, it's not though. The cat in my profile picture is Grumpy Cat, but um, they're similar species or breeds of cat. I think Grumpy Cat was like a Siamese ragdoll or something, and that's what my cat is, so, yeah. I mean, I could say it's my cat if I wanted to, but, yeah. Yeah. Kevin, did you have any questions? You still here, or? Yeah, I have no questions. You have a nice cat, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, thank you, Mr. Singh. See you, yep. I guess, next meeting, then. Yep. Uh, okay, yeah. Yep, bye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Uh, uh, hey, did you just get here? Or okay. Um, what I ended up doing was the the meeting that I had for today, Monday, was actually at one o'clock. Was from one to two o'clock. Um, I don't know if you missed read that, but um, yeah. Were you were you thinking that the meeting was at uh, two? Don't know if your microphone settings are set. Um, I can see your mouth moving, but can't hear anything. Maybe try typing in the chat or changing your microphone settings. It says your microphone is on, like you're not muted. So it might be some connection issues, maybe. It doesn't seem like your microphone's working. Um, 
maybe type in chat or text something. See what's going on. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, now I can hear you. Maybe it was an issue with like the, the mic and those headphones or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, let's see. Did you, I did I post the wrong time or did you? Um, I don't know, but I, I, I was reading the thing and it, I thought it said two, but no. I might have. That's okay. I mean, yeah, I. From Monday, today, I had changed the meeting time from 1 to 2, um, which is why you saw a bunch of people just leaving, because I had just ended it when you showed up. But uh, mm -hmm. I can still stick around. Um, it'll just be a lot shorter, since I don't have to go through like discussing things with every person. Um, okay. So that's fine. Um, don't worry about it. Um, did you have a chance to read through everything else in the Google Classroom post? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you have any questions on any of it? No. No, okay. Um, well, let me just share with you um, a couple of the things from today's post, um, just because that's what I did earlier. Um, where is it? Um, okay. So for this week's stuff, there's only two new assignments, which I've got posted at the bottom. You can see that, right? Um, the screen uh -huh. I'm sharing. Okay, so where am I? All right. Um, so yeah, there's only two new assignments this year because assignment number four is the uh, that I have to this week. Um, the. I need to hear back from. Sorry, I'm going to mute you really quick just because I can hear people in the background. Um, if you if you have a question, just unmute yourself and you can um, you can talk again. Um, but yeah, the the two new assignments are moon related to kind of follow up on the moon journal discussions that we've had from this week. Um, the Details are all self-contained in the Google post because I think last week people were asking me about like all of the links and stuff. So I tried to put them in the same spot, but still check with School Loop for all of the instructional details because uh, that's where I've got like the details from the times, like, uh, you know, the meeting times and stuff like that. Um, or all of the links for everything else, like uh, the readings and stuff. Um, also, I've put some stuff in the gradebook that are, um, oops, that should be more up to date now. Let me, in period, period five or six, what period are you in alignment? Six or wait, uh, I don't know. Either way, whatever. Um, that doesn't really matter, but, uh, if you look into the gradebook, um, the percentages don't have, um, yeah, the percentages you'll see, they're not on the A to F scale anymore. So um, as long as you're above, like, I think 49%, you'll still get a pass, I think. So um, if you haven't had a chance to look at uh, your scores in the grade book, you'll see that I've um, put a bunch of things in and, um, P's basically mean 100%, and then no marks mean 0%. And, um, you know, if you have P's, um, or the, the percentage on the left here is what percentage of P's to no marks do you have? So, like, this person here is 100% 100, 100 P's. Uh, this person only has, like, 25%, which are, like, the free points that I gave them, and then they have no marks for everything else. So that's why it says, like, 25% no mark. Um, and then just in the future, as long as you're participating, you'll get P's for your assignments. And then, um, 
you'll be able to see that uh, it should say like P next to your name here. Does that make sense? Hello? Yeah, hey Mateo. Sorry, I didn't see the um, the join code up until right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. I know there were a couple of people who misread that too. So, um, yeah, I can just have you sit in now if that's fine with you and then just go over some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Elena's here too. So great. Um, I was just going over the school loop post from today and just the fact that I've begun to post uh, grades in the school loop. Um, so I was just telling Elena, don't worry about the percentages. They're not on the A to F scale anymore. It's basically as long as you have like, um, it's like 40 something percent, then it turns into a pass. And then if you have less than 40 percent, then it's a no pass. Okay. And, uh, just P means a hundred percent, no mark means zero. So like a hundred percent means you've done a hundred percent P's. This person who has 25% has like no marks for everything except for the three points that I gave them here. Um, and then just as long as you're participating throughout the semester, you'll get P's and then it should just say pass uh, for your grade if that's the case. Okay. So yeah, don't worry about A's or F's, just as long as your course grade says pass, uh, you should be fine. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. So then for today, Day, I was just gonna have us discuss the moon journals. Uh, oh, wait, okay. here on Friday, Mateo. Yeah, I was. I was here yeah. last week on Monday, and then last week on Friday. Oh, okay. So everything, well, everything's pretty much the same. I mean, if you just want to stick around just to listen to, oh, okay, everything that's fine. But it'll be short since there's only like two of you. Um, I was just gonna kind of hear what you had to say about your moon journals, and then guess maybe just share the simulation one more time okay okay um so um elena i'll just start with you since you're on the you're at the beginning of the list um in the, the chat log in alphabetical order so um can you turn your mic back on and like maybe just share um you know what your moon journal looked like um what your experiences were um etc yeah so my mom's just talking in the background sorry um can i get up and go get it yeah that's fine okay yeah yeah mateo if you have your moon journal uh can you go get it um yeah sure I'll, I'll have to switch on to the onto my laptop uh, real okay. quick so i'll be right back yeah Try to present again. 